this is Katie from Katie Vegas. Um, wanting to share with you my most recent passion, which is um, big stitch Tunisian crochet. And I'm going to go into that with you in um, these videos. Thank you for um, coming and watching, and see you in a minute. I got together with my wonderful artist friend, Rule James. And between the two of us, we created these great, wonderful big books. Um, we start out with, uh, I have five sizes available. Um, these hooks are the double-ended, uh, solid wood, hand-carved, hand-sanded, hand-polished, Tunisian crochet hooks with a stopper. This allows it to be used as a one- or two-ended hook. Uh, if you're using it one end or even one way, you um, you can stop your your yarn from going off the other end with the stopper. It's really great. Or you can take it out and work the two colors back and forth. For instruction on Tunisian crochet, I'll show you a few sample stitches. I'm going to sample you or show you a few with the large I'm hook. I'm going to show you what's called the full stitch. This is always done on an odd number of stitches and it's two rows that alternate. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the first row and I'll, I will um, you add or, or increase and decrease um, in different ways. There are lots of videos to show you that. But in this case I want to increase. So I'm going to go ahead and put my first stitch where this one is for the simple stitch because I need an odd number of stitches in the row. So let's not count this. Let me just go ahead and do an increase row. So I'm going to go in the first one. That's one. And in the full stitch, you don't go in the bar. You find the space between the stitches and you go through to the back, yarn over and pull up a loop. So here we go, we're just going to do this real fast and make this our increased row. So we're, I want to end up with 11, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I always want to pull up and have the 2 on top, that makes 11. Now I'll reverse and come back, yarn over, pull through 1. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now I'm going to have 11 for this, which I would have started with, was I not continuing from the previous sample rows. But it's just slick as a whistle and fast as you can go. And so easy, and so easy to see. Okay, so now we're as if we're on the first row. Just pretend we, we never did that last row. Okay, so because on the first row of the full stitch, um, you want to ignore this first space between here because this has already taken that. So you want to go in to find the second space. So I have one on the loop. I'm going to go in here and I want two. Three, four, see how I'm finding that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and on the first row you go into the last space. Ten, and then you pick up the two that are on top, 11. Yarn over, go through one, just one please. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, all the way back. And. Uh, goes so fast you don't even have to stop. Just getting some more yarn here. 
go through two. Now, we're to the row two of the full stitch. So on row two, you don't want to skip this one. You want to go in the first one because you're going to skip the last one. This causes the stitches to alternate so that you get a beautiful pattern. But if you're going to go in this first one, you have to take one off somewhere else. So it's going to be in the end. So we're going to go in, or this is going to be row two of the simple stitch. You pull up right away the first space. That's two, three, find the space in before, between four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now remember I told you, you have to have the end stitch because that's what the, gives you the staple edge. But because we went into what normally we would have skipped in order to get the alternate, alternating stitches and so that you keep your straight edges on both sides, this last space between we're going to skip. So we skip that space in between and we find the two stitches of the two strands of the three strand stitch at the end and put it on top and pull it through. Now yarn over, pull through one on the return. We're almost to the point where you're going to be able to see what this looks like. It's just absolutely beautiful. I think it would make a lovely rug and maybe two strands of this in, in a wool. You could get the super bulky in wool, it's just expensive. So that's why I use um, the sheets to make rag rugs. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now you can see how this goes. Isn't that pretty? So now if you were to continue with this, you go back to row one, so you skip the first space. You go in the second one in between. Let's give you one more row of this, and then I'll go on to another stitch. There you go. Two, four, six eight, nine. You go in the last space, that's ten. Remember we're on row one. Find the two of the three and put them on top. That's your last stitch. That makes eleven. And see by alternating this on odd number of stitches it keeps you a nice straight left and right edge. Yarn over, pull through one. Over, pull through two. Get some more yarn here. 